hi what's up guys in today's video i want to try replacing the drv8302 on the vesk it's a very serious problem and i wish uh it was easy to like uh, replace them as you can see here this is the vesk uh, 412 version 412 and uh, both of these VESC are not good the DRV on them failed and uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, replace them I just order a couple of DRV chips to attempt a replacement as you can see on the screen here on the VESC tool it says full code DRV So here are what I need for this replacement, some flux, solder, um, a thermal tape, tweezers, a pump, a heat gun, and a soldering iron. So I'm going to start by removing those thick wires just took that off here is the PCB so here we are going to start first by applying some heat on the back of the PCB you just wanna heat up For safety reasons, you are going to use uh, a little bit of uh, this tape. A little bit of this tape. This is to protect the plastic. Okay, this way uh, the sides are protected, the heat won't affect other uh, chips. Alright, so we are going to apply more heat on the DRV itself, but first we are going to apply some flux. well this repair was totally a failure i didn't use the right heat gun the hole the heat is coming through is kind of wide so it kind of melts everything around as you can see here and i was able to take off the old drv but the problem is I broke a couple of legs apart this is a mess a total mess 
this is not going to work I'm not going to waste a DRV for it because it's done this PC board is probably garbage right now probably get some parts also have this couple of capacitors uh, if you want to try this replacement you really need to have some some pretty high uh, soldering skills because it's pretty risky it's in a, and it's totally a mess so yeah I learned a big lesson next time I will probably be using a uh, better uh, tools for it definitely not a, a wide nose like that so yeah thank you for watching anyway so see you on the next video